On this episode of China Uncensored, let's just all live together in peace, okay? Okay, China? We're friends, right? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Today, I must report a terrible tragedy. I may have been wrong about something. In early 2014, I made an episode called, Is China a Nuclear Threat? Is China a nuclear threat? The short answer is no, but the long answer is no. Well, a year and a half of weapons testing later, it turns out the answer is now yes, yes, God, yes, they're a nuclear threat. How shall we deal with the impending threat? Who shall we turn to in our hour of need? The Chinese Defense Ministry said last Friday that on June 7th, they conducted a test of a hypersonic glide vehicle. U.S. defense officials confirmed this as the latest of four different tests conducted in the last 18 months of extreme maneuvers by the high-speed strike weapon, and that it could be a nuclear delivery vehicle. The Pentagon's code word for China's hypersonic glide vehicle is Wu-14. Now wait, Chris, don't you mean supersonic? Nuh-uh. I mean hypersonic. Compared to hypersonic weapons, supersonic weapons are about as fast as your grandmother trying to send an email on AOL dial-up. This is how the Wu-14 works. First, they load it with some sort of weapon, hopefully just paintballs or something. Then, they use an intercontinental ballistic missile, like in a James Bond movie, to launch it into outer space. Then, once in outer space above its intended target, the Wu-14 with its weapon's payload is released, where it zooms back down through the atmosphere at seven and a half thousand miles per hour, or about 10 times the speed of sound, so it can reach the ground in under 60 seconds. And the Wu-14 doesn't necessarily travel in a predictable arc. In fact, according to the Washington Free Beacon, U.S. intelligence says the Wu-14 is specifically designed to break through U.S. missile defense systems. Terrified? Don't be. Let the soothing words of China's defense ministry assure you. And still in China, the defense ministry reiterated that its super hi uh, hypersonic missile test was aimed at scientific research and not targeted at any country. See? China is simply investing untold fortunes into developing state-of-the-art missiles for no real reason at all. The hypersonic missile test just happened to come right before official talks between U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter and Chinese counterpart General Fan Chenglong. This test also syncs up with China being upset with the United States for trying to interfere in their totally legal and peaceful territorial expansions in the South China Sea. But to be clear, these tests aren't targeted at any specific country or with any specific goals. Just like earlier in the month, when Chinese hackers broke into U.S. federal computer networks and stole the personal information of more than 4 million current and former employees. Oh, it was probably just the Chinese military's way of getting their addresses to send them birthday cards. But probably there's no need to go and build yourself a nuclear fallout shelter. True, this new Wu-14 does make China more realistically a nuclear threat, but it's almost certain to stay just a threat. China is far less likely to use a nuke against the U.S. than the Soviet Union ever was. Think about it. The Chinese military has already hacked our government computers, infiltrated our biggest companies, and stolen our military secrets. They could probably shut down our power grid or send our stock market into a downward spiral if they want. And yet they don't. Because as long as the Communist Party wants to maintain its political and trade relationships with the rest of the world, it has to be way more subtle than that. And so, we're probably safe. At least from being nuked, not from all that other stuff. So what do you think of China's hypersonic glider? Do you think they would ever use it to launch a nuclear weapon at the U.S.? And how do you think this should affect diplomatic relations? Leave your comments below and be sure to subscribe for more episodes of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time if there is a next time. It's the worst nautical disaster in China since the 1940s. And of course, first responders headed to the scene. And as usual, in a national disaster like this, you want your first responders to be strong, 
brave, and hot. Yes, hot! That's the focus of not one, but several articles in Chinese state-run media related to the Yangtze River Ferry rescue. Now, as an American propagandist, intensely jealous of China's rise, I'm torn. On the one hand, I want to portray China as America's greatest threat. On the other hand, USA number one!